everybody, my name is Art King, and today I got a request of my top 10 favorite uh, Bandai, well, toys that are monsters. Now, I'm only doing Bandai, Godzilla, and Ultraman figures because if I did NECA and SH Monster Art, they'd take up most of the list. So, yeah, so this is just going to be Bandai's. This uh, request was made by he's Sonic 277 two hopefully I said his name right he, and uh, this is for you so let's get on with it now my top ten has to be my Sidora figure I don't know why I mean the Sidora figure is really cool it's really neat it's accurate it I just feel like they could have added a little more articulation but hey really it's still a good figure so who am I to judge Uh, next up is Mega Gears. Now this figure is really good. The detail is good. It looks just like it was pulled out of the film. Heck, they even made a little bit of own coloring on it, like orange top. The problem is, it's like really his legs can go kind of anywhere. I know why they made him multiple legs, so it looks like he can do multiple poses with his legs or something. But still, I feel like they didn't need to make his legs move that much. I appreciate the effort, though. Next up is Gigan. To be honest, this is my favorite Gigan figure I have. I don't know why, I just I just like him. Um, really, I just put him on uh, number 8 on this list. Mainly because, well, I don't know. I just think he should have been on this list. I might not have a reason for some of the characters being on certain parts of the list. King Goldrass. Now, I think I have a little bit of a reason. Kind of, this is the original version. Not uh, King Goldrass. This is normal Goldrass. Um, King Goldrass is more rare and harder to find. So, this guy is kind of easy-ish to find, but still, really looks cool. He is still pretty rare, but still, it's not his counterpart. Next up is, might have to move these guys back a little bit, King Ghidorah. This is hard to see. Wait a minute. <laughs> there we go, King Ghidorah. This has to be my favorite because he is the tallest out of the bunch. I mean, look at him compared to the tallest figure, which is uh, Goldrass. See, he's like super tall, so. I put him close because he's the most accurate Ghidorah we have. But he is still pretty rare, so that's why he's not as close to number one. But still, it's pretty close. So, just let me put him over here on my bed. Next up is Jiris. I really like this figure because, well, it's Jiris, and it's Godzilla from Ultraman. And uh, plus, I think this is the only Jiris figure out from Bandai, and it's really rare, and I don't know, I just really like the design and choice they went with. I mean, they could have made him a little bit taller, but still, it's really cool. So, yeah. Next up is the recent one I've actually gotten. It's King Pandan. Mainly because, well, I love King Pandan. The design is amazing. The articulation is good. And overall, it's just a really cool King Pandan figure. So basically, I have every King, like I have King Geshera, um, King Silvergon, King Hipparito, the Gigi Chimera, now I just need a uh, King Goldross, and I'll have a complete set. Next up is Godzilla 2016. Now, to be honest, I put him up to this list because the other two, uh, one of them looks really cool and frightening. Not to say he doesn't look frightening, but the uh, other one. Oh, look, a little smiley face. Ooh. But the other one is a childhood favorite monster. 
Uh, I put him up here because really, he is a cool figure. And really, I can't blame Toho for like not giving him enough articulation. Sorry about that jump cut. Uh, I don't know what happened. It's really, I just don't know if Godzilla 2016 that well, but by looking at the trailers, this looks really good and close to him. So, uh, don't spoil Godzilla 2016 for me. I haven't watched it yet. Next up is a childhood favorite, Godzilla 1962. Now, you might have seen this one in the Godzilla timeline video, but still. I love this figure. This is so close to the movie. The design is just amazing. And, really, it's the same articulation as Godzilla 2016, but still, it's actually a really good-looking figure. He is still pretty rare to find, but still, it's a really nice figure. I can't deny that. You can't deny that. If you looked at the movie and looked at this, it looks like it's just taken out of the movie. So, yeah. Now for the number one spot, the 19... 93 Godzilla! Now I put this guy on here just for one thing. He is terrifying looking. Looks like he was taken out of the movie. Good articulation for what he is. And yeah, he's basically got the same articulation as, uh, Godzilla, as uh, Godzilla 2016 and Godzilla 1962. There's only one difference. He can actually look. Hey guys. What you, uh, what you want to do? Why aren't you looking at me? WE CAN'T TURN OUR HEADS! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, still, I just really like this figure. I don't know why. Especially the spikes, it looks really, you know, like he's rusted over the years and stuff, so... I don't know. But, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. And, also let me know if you want me to do a top 10 least favorite Bandai figures. And, uh, that should be all. Remember, this is for Sonic2772. Hopefully I said his name right. And, uh, this video's for you, man. And, here are all the monsters in order. Wait a minute. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye. Eric out. Whoa!